Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. So let's start with combination of the springs. So in case of springs, series combination means one spring is connected after the other like that. Okay, so let us fix this boundary and apply a force F at one of the ends of the spring having force constant K1, K2 and K3. If we make free body diagram for all these three strings, suppose, then how it will look like F force is acting at this end. So this end will apply some force, say F1 and the equal amount of force will be on this F1. Here F2, then same amount of force F2 will be and F3 will be the force exerted by the support. We are using massless springs. So in case, even if the motion is there, even the net force on each spring has to be zero. So F is equal to F1 plus equal to F2 equal to F3. All forces are same. So elongation of the springs will be according to individual spring constant. So total elongation X is going to be X1 plus x2 plus x3 so x is equal to x1 x1 is f upon k1 x2 is f upon k2 because same force is acting on all the springs so here it is x suppose there is a single spring where we apply force f and elongation is x which is equal to the sum of these three then that will be the equivalent spring so here is the relation. So after cancelling F, we get 1 by K is equal to 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2 plus 1 by K3 like that. So reciprocals are added to get the reciprocal of the equivalent. So here you can see that since reciprocal are added and then the final result is reciprocal of that, it means out of K1, K2, K3, whichever is the smallest K the result is going to be even smaller than that because the smallest k means that particular term inverse will be the biggest one then plus something and then inverse so number will be even less than that by that particular number so equivalent constant for series combination can be calculated using this particular formula so in series combination tension is same all the springs and extension will be different that we have already seen in series combination, extension of springs will be reciprocal of its spring constant. As we have seen that F is same, then elongation or the compression has to be F by K. So inversely proportional to the spring constant. So spring constant of spring is reciprocal of its natural length. Spring constant is inversely proportional to its natural length. This is one of the important points that you can use if suppose we have one single spring okay and if we divide this spring in two equal halves l by 2 l by 2 this is l this is l by 2 l by 2 then these two half must be such that if we connect them in series they must produce the same spring constant so 2k 2k will be the spring constant of the individual part so that reciprocal of them when added and then taking the reciprocal will yield the spring constant k of the original springs so if one spring is cut in several parts say m parts then a spring constant of each one will become m times k because a spring constant is inverse to the length so here is one trick which you can use for dissimilar length Suppose we have one spring and we have cut this spring in say ratio 1 is to 3 then what should be their spring constant. So just see if they are cut in 1 is to 3 that means if we make 4 pieces out of this spring then each piece will have the spring constant 4k and then 
three pieces of this 4K are connected in series to produce this one. So it will become 4K by 3 when they are connected in series. Okay. And this particular part remains 4K. So when one spring of a spring constant K is divided in two parts, 1 is to 3, then their force constants would be what? 4K and 4K upon 3. Okay. It is written here, if a spring is cut in n pieces, then a spring constant of one piece will be nk. And one point which is here that those pieces must be identical. That is the condition. Okay. KL for the spring will be same if we compare different springs of the same make with the difference of length only. So next is the parallel combination. So in case of parallel combination, what you can see is that suppose there are two springs only this time same as in the diagram and if we extend this combination by x then we know that same extension will be there for both the springs k1 and k2 so force applied on this body by these two springs will be k1x and k2x suppose we have a single spring where this object is connected and when it is moved by the distance x then Suppose k is the spring constant, then kx will be the force applied by the spring on this block. So, for equivalent result, kx must be same as k1x plus k2x. So, after cancelling x, we get k is equal to k1 plus k2. And the same result goes for more than two springs also, k1 plus k2 plus k3. Means, in parallel combination, spring constants are directly added. So, here, as you can see that there are two springs connected so time period has to be 2 pi by omega means 2 pi under root m by k k is k1 plus k2 all right so in parallel combination we can directly add the spring constants to get the equivalent spring constant hey there hope you understood the concept here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning you can check now Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.